So it is finally official. Josh Berry is racing for the Wood Brothers in 2025. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, give me your thoughts on this video. What do you think is the future of Josh Berry with Wood Brothers? All right, so over the last week, week and a half, the big talk has been Josh Berry to the 21. I think I've talked about maybe four different drivers being attached to this potential ride. First, it was Briscoe, then I think it was Custer, then it was Justin Haley, and now it's Josh Berry. It just seems like there was a lot of drivers linked to this ride, but the Wood Brothers have finally gotten their driver for 2025 and that is josh berry as most nascar contracts there wasn't a lot revealed when it came to how lengthy the contract is but we do know it is a multi-year deal but one thing that also came with this announcement was that they currently do not have a crew chief for the number 21 next year it sounds like they're going to be looking through the penske pipeline for crew chief for this number 21 car which really surprised me and i think a lot of other people hearing this i think it's pretty surprising we all expected that rodney childress was going to be the crew chief of the number 21 if josh berry was the driver that those two were pretty much a package deal and uh, some people even argue that out of all of the drivers and all the people that are essentially in free agency from that Stuart Haas closure, the biggest free agent on the market over drivers is Rodney Childress. That's what a lot of people have argued, and I can't I can't really I can't really say that they're wrong because Rodney Childress has done so much in his career. I'd consider him maybe the best crew chief in the garage, second or third. I think it's really close between him and Cliff Daniels is the best crew chief in the garage. Just a really smart, smart crew chief and has been there, done that, has been part of the sport for a very long time. So it was sounding like Rodney Childress had no shot really at the number 21 car until I read this quote from Josh Berry. Take a, take a look at this quote. I'm going to pull this quote up on the screen. So it sounds like Rodney Childress has a potential interview with the Wood Brothers, I, I find it honestly surprising that this has this decision hasn't already been made. If you have the chance at having Rodney Childress, I'd say you hire him immediately. But nonetheless, Rodney Childress does in fact sound like he is in the running to be the crew chief of the number 21 car with Josh Berry. We will have to see if they're able to stick together or if Rodney Childress ends up moving on because you'll definitely be at, be at least crew chief of a car, if not even higher up part of a race team. We'll have to see for the future of Rodney Childress, but we do know the future of Josh Berry, but there is another driver we are unsure of when it comes to their future, and that is the current driver of the number 21, Harrison Burton. Harrison Burton was a, a very good Xfinity Series driver. He got a, I think he got four wins before he made the jump to the Cup Series in that last season in Xfinity for Joe Gibbs Racing. Overall, a very good Xfinity Series driver. But I just, I just think he was one of those drivers, kind of like almost how Daniel Suarez. I think Suarez has picked it up the further he's gotten in his career. But when when Suarez got to the sport, same thing with Logano actually too. When Suarez and Logano got to the sport, I just think it was too early. I don't think they were quite ready for Cup Series racing. And they just got in a little bit too early. And I think it was the same thing with Harrison Burton. He's gotten into the sport too early. He's gotten into the Cup Series too early. So what I, I, what I think his future is and what I think he should do 
is go back to the Xfinity series because he does have Dex imaging if they continue to keep their sponsorship of Harrison Burton. They have followed him throughout most of his career. So I'm expecting them to stay on board for something we'll have to see. But I'd say he should go back to the Xfinity series, maybe race for a Stuart Haas if there is a ride available, maybe try to go to a Junior Motorsports if there's a ride available. But it actually sounds like there might not be a ride available with that Connor Zilich talk out there. But Harrison Burton needs to go to a quality ride and prove his skills once again. Kind of similar to what John Hunter Nemechek did. I think that was a little bit of a different scenario compared to what Harrison Burton is going through. But kind of the same idea. He needs to go to a really great race team in either Xfinity or in the trucks if he has to. And try to rebuild his career and take his time reclimbing the ranks. What I saw of him in the Xfinity series, I saw a lot of potential. I didn't see an amazing race car driver quite yet, but I saw a lot of potential. And then when he got to the Cup Series, I think he just didn't do well facing the competition, was messing up a lot at first. And at this point, he probably has no confidence in his driving ability. And there's a lot of drivers in the field that deal with those sort of issues where they mess up for a couple races, they just think badly of themselves, and they just really begin to struggle. Austin Sindrick and Bubba Wallace are two examples that immediately come to my mind. Once they have a couple of bad races, it's just they're just going to get bad race after bad race because they've just lost that confidence in themselves. I actually went over uh, some couple, a couple of things. I discussed some things. I don't usually give final thoughts on these sort of videos, but I'll actually give some final thoughts on this video. For the 21 car, I'm, I'm very excited for the Wood Brothers and Penske because I, I think Josh Berry has it, and he seems to have a lot of confidence right now. I think he has it, and he's, he's a great driver. He's a very promising driver with some potential. I know he's a little bit on the older side when it comes to a new driver in the Cup Series, but I've said it before on this channel. That's how NASCAR was. A lot of the drivers that were coming up into the Cup Series were 25, 30 years old. I think Kurt Busch might have been one of the first like really young rookies to come up and really do something. Jeff Gordon was pretty young as well. But you have to think about it. Back in the day, a lot of rookie drivers would end up being 30, 35 years old. And they still had many years in front of them. So I think Josh Berry can only grow from here. But I'm also very interested on who they decide to be that crew chief of the 21. Because in my opinion, if you're not putting Rodney Childress as the crew chief and he is available, I don't know what you're doing. I think that's a mistake if they don't do that. Unless unless Rodney Childress and Josh Berry don't have the chemistry. But from what it seems to me, it seems like they have amazing chemistry even when they go to the local short track, Rodney Childress is sometimes even there with Barry. They just have a great relationship, it seems like. And I expect them to stay together if if Wood Brothers will allow that. And Harrison Burton just needs to rebuild his confidence and rebuild his career in a similar way to what John Hunter Nemechek did. And I think he could be just fine because he definitely showed a lot of potential when he was in that Joe Gibbs car in the Xfinity series, and he just needs to get that confidence back and get his career back on track. But give me all your thoughts on Josh Berry, the number 21, Rodney Childress, and the future of Harrison Burton. But that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Short, saying peace.